Good morning, Pastor Larry here. It is Friday, February the 24th. Um, man, there's been all this talk, and I, I just can't help, I can't get away from it. I long for revival, all this talk of revival, what's going on um, um, in different places. I, I'm jealous. I want revival. And I've asked God for it. I'm praying for it. Our church is praying for it. And I hope you're praying for it. And uh, what I see here is, is it's, it's important where our thoughts are. It's important where my mind is. I think a lot of the reasons that we struggle to have the revival that God wants to give into the life, the anointing of God's presence on our life, the reason we don't have it is because my mind isn't where it's supposed to be. My heart isn't where it's supposed to be. Paul writes to us in Philippians chapter 4, he says this, uh, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. These are the things that we ought to have our mind on. And, and when we think on these things, that God gives us peace. God gives us peace with Him, peace with others. Um, and He puts His anointing on our life. And I want my mind to be where it's supposed to be. I want yours to be. So pray with me. I want to encourage you to think on these things. And if you're wondering, well, how do I think on all these things at once? It's very easy. Think on Jesus because Jesus is all these things. Jesus is true. He's pure. He's honest. He's of good report. He's virtuous. He's all these things. Think on him today. Set your mind on him. Let him arrest your mind and your thoughts instead of all the things that are attempting to captivate who we are. Let God captivate us. And let's pray for revival. I hope to see you Sunday. If you're a member of faith, please be there Sunday. And if you don't have a church to go to, I want to invite you, please come Sunday. Let us look to the Lord and let him fill our hearts with who he is. Have a great day. God bless. And I hope to see you soon.